Hello, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today I have a quick comparison of the Flare Signature 2 and the Gaggia Classic Pro. Before we get into that video though, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton and it doesn't cost you anything, so it helps me out a lot. Anyways, uh, before I get into the really comparing these though, I want to say that we are going to do a race at the end of the video of uh, like how long it takes to do a full workflow on the Gaggia and how long it takes to do on the Flare. I'm going to start both with the boiler here already heated and with the Gaggia already heated up. I will say though, I'm going to show how to preheat the actual port of filter that way it's more of a fair comparison by you know, preheating it by just shooting some water through it, like a blank shot. Anyways, let's just do some pros and cons between the few. Uh, so the Gaja Classic Pro, obviously it's a lot more money. This is a $450 machine, whereas the Flare is a $200-ish machine, depending on what variation you get. I got the one that has the actual pressure gauge on there because it helps you learn how to pull these shots a little bit easier, which is like an extra 30 bucks. So. Price-wise, obviously the Flare is significantly cheaper, but the Gaggia, on the other hand, does everything for you. It has a big water tank in the back. It has, you know, a, an actual pressure, you know, it has a pump in there so it'll shoot out espresso. You don't have to push it out. It does, you know, it's, it's a full espresso machine, whereas this is just basically a lever with some devices in there. So the workflow takes a lot longer. Uh, the other thing too is the Gaggia is just going to be more consistent because when you're pushing this lever down, it's really hard to get the exact same results every time just because your pressure pushing down is just not going to be the same every time. It's virtually impossible. Whereas the Gaggia is a pump machine, it's going to push out that 11 bars depending on how you have it set up every single time. So as far as consistency is concerned, it's definitely going to be easier here. The other thing too is because it's electric, it's already heating out everything up. So on here, you take this porta filter out and it is piping hot. It will literally burn you. So obviously be careful when you're you know touching that and everything, but it it's already hot, everything's ready for you to go. So making an espresso, I'm thinking, I haven't done the race yet, but I'm thinking is gonna be so much faster on the Gaggia Classic Pro. It feels a lot easier. You just grind some beans, do a distributation and tamp it, and you're good to go. Whereas the flare, you have to preheat, you have to get everything hot because if you keep it cold, if you just put, put hot water in for the first time, you're gonna lose a ton of heat in your shot, which is gonna result in very sour espresso. So just some things to th you know keep in mind. Now I will say, as far as the you know comparison with just espresso, obviously this has a steam knob as well and everything, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, as far as the espresso is concerned, like what tastes better, the Gaggia is very, very good. It has a 58 millimeter portafilter basket, so it's a lot larger than what you get on here. This is like 48 millimeters or maybe even smaller than that. It's very, very small. So you will get a pretty full bodied experience out of the Gaggia, but because of the flow profile that you can create with the lever, going to nine bars, pre-infusing, doing all the things that come with, you know, really a super high-end espresso machine, something like a Slayer or a Decent, those machines cost 3,000 plus dollars. You can actually sort of get a shot similar to that on a flare. So that's basically all I wanted to say about the comparison. Let's do a real race between the two. I'm gonna turn the camera off and we will start doing the prep. So we're taking a look here. We have the Gaggia Classic Pro on the bottom and the Flare at the top. We're starting with both boilers all the way hot. So if you look on the bottom, the Gaggia is doing a, what I call a fake shot or a water shot just to preheat the portafilter. So we are doing that twice just to make sure it's all to heat. On the Flare on top, we just boiled some water um, and the reason why I wanted to start with the boiler already hot is that the time in which it takes you to boil water can vary. So I just wanted to kind of keep that, you know, the same. So I already have a ground coffee. I also made sure the ground coffee was already done. 
and we are currently putting the ground coffee in and distributing in the Gaggia. I'm just getting ready to start pushing the the flare over there with some. There we go. Now it's just getting tamped in, and as you can tell, the Gaggia is just a little bit ahead, but it's gonna it's it's definitely taken off now. We're actually pulling a shot. Whereas on the flare on top, we are still waiting for the tamp. Again, this is just because we have to wait for that whole brew unit to reheat, and there's not really a fast way of doing that. So, yeah, we've already started the shot on the bottom. Looks like it's pulling pretty nicely. Maybe a little bit slow, but it's a pretty good shot. And we're just getting to the end of that shot, and it looks like right about... Now, so we're hitting at 1 minute and 40 seconds on the Gaussian Classic Pro. Putting some water in on the flare, just kind of waiting for that to uh, be ready. You got to put that top on. Maybe give, you, know, you could take maybe a couple of seconds off on the ending score here for the, for the flare. Sorry about that. There was a... I forgot to take the cap off that that holds all the water in. So we're just starting to push now. And that we're just ramping up to nine bars. If you look in the top right, you can kind of see that shot, how it's coming out. It's a pretty good shot, actually. I, already, I tasted it, and I uh, actually really liked it a lot. And, and that's one of the reasons I like the flare, um, especially for a starter machine. It's a really nice way to be able to pull wonderful shots and without it being super super expensive so there we go just ended right at two minutes and 45 seconds okay we're back so as you can see the gaji classic pro only took about a minute and 30 and the flare took a lot longer almost double the time at around two minutes and 40 seconds so that actually went pretty well for the flare it when you're doing everything um it does it, it just feels more cumbersome it feels like it's just taking a lot of time and effort and the downside with that is when you do miss your shot if it just doesn't come out good it's a little sour or something having to do cleanup is just a big pain on this on the gaji just pull it out knock it out give it a quick swirl and you can grind another one with this, there's like, you know, all these different pieces. You got to reheat it up. You get the cleanup's a little bit harder because you don't have a knock box that you can just hit it on real easy. You kind of have to like get it out with a spoon or something. So it is a little bit more difficult. I've already given the Gaja Classic Pro a review score. So I'm going to go ahead and link that video above. It's a comparison video. So this has a score of a seven. I am going to give this uh, machine sort of two scores today. This, this is going to get a machine score like I'd give any other machine. Um, and then I'm going to give it a, a score compared to other machines in its class. So there's the Rock, there's uh, the X-Bar, there's other machines out there that, that do this type of lever shot. Um, but as far as an espresso machine for the home, this is a 5.4. I, uh, although it is fun to use, it can be just so frustrating and it can also be so messy that you end up not wanting to use it just because of those aspects of it it is i think a nicely designed machine it looks nice the parts are all nicely made it's probably not going to break on you anytime soon but it's just i don't know i just want to use it but i also just dread the cleanup and setting it all up preheating it putting the water somewhere it's just a lot for one shot of espresso and remember espresso was originally invented to be fast a fast shot that way people can get back to work so that's my score for that now if i'm comparing it to other machines in its class i would say that it's probably a nine uh, i think the rock is not nearly as good as the flare it seems a lot more user friendly you get the you can get one with the actual pressure gauge so if you are wanting something like that um you know the flare is probably the only one I would recommend. With all that said though, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.